This is the legend of Tanabata. Once upon a time, many years ago, I repeat, many years ago, Kamisama lived in the heavens. The god, Kamisama, had one daughter, whose name was Orihime. Orihime was a very serious girl. She would wake up early every morning and weep. Orihime loved to wake up early every day, which made her father proud. One day, Kamisama had a thought. Kamisama found a serious man. His name was Hikoboshi, and he lived on the other side of the Milky Way. Hikoboshi lived on a farm where he kept cows. The cows were used for work. Orihime and Hikoboshi got married, and soon they grew to love each other. The two were always together and never worked. Kamisama got angry, but still, the two refused to work. Kamisama was incredibly angry, and he knew he had to do something. There was only one thing he could think of. He decided to bring Orihime home. Both Hikoboshi and Orihime had an incredibly hard time separating. Orihime wanted to meet with Hikoboshi and cried every day. Sob, sob, sob. Kamisama felt bad for the two and decided to talk to them. Orihime, Hikoboshi, I will allow you to meet one time per year. That time is the night of July 7th. Orihime, on that day, you are allowed to go to the other side of the Milky Way, but you have to return by morning. Once a year, on the eve of Tanabata, Orihime and Hikoboshi meet. The two have their wish realized. On this day, people write their wishes down on pieces of paper of various colors. They can be red, or blue, or it can be their favorite color. These are called Tanzaku. People say that on Tanabata your wish will be realized. Some kids write, I want to get good grades. Some other people write, I want to meet someone amazing. What will you wish for on Tanabata?